What are you in the mood for today? I'm kind of in an orangey mood. Are you ready so, for yummy eats? Okay, so we're doing orange chicken today, which I love orange chicken. I always get it on the uh, Asian buffets, Chinese buffets, whatever. I always get the orange chicken. So I wanted to make it really easy on myself today, so I'm not chopping up any chicken. I actually cheated, and I bought it like this. Um, it really wasn't that more much more expensive and so since I am out here camping and just having a good time I didn't feel like dicing today, which is silly because I diced the carrots. But anyway, um, so I bought this today and That's gonna be our chicken and then I've already made the sauce and I'm gonna go over with you what I did I put in a half a cup of orange marmalade Very good to cook with I put in one teaspoon of sesame oil and one fourth cup of soy sauce okay and then i did a half a teaspoon of ground ginger and then i don't know how many people know about five spice but five spice just it is just a, a array of taste i mean it is it is a chinese uh, spice but it is so good i mean it is so good to add to certain dishes half a teaspoon of the five spice a half a teaspoon of garlic and then this is optional you can do a half a teaspoon of red pepper, which I did because we really like spicy here. And then if you want it sweeter, I didn't want mine on the real sweet side. I wanted just the sweetness from the orange marmalade. You can go ahead and add two tablespoons of brown sugar to this if you like it to be sweet because we're going to end up serving this over a white rice. You can serve it over quinoa. You can serve it over riced cauliflower. You can, you can serve it over anything. Anything that makes your heart desire. You can actually cook linguine, um, like like use linguine for lo mein noodles or go buy lo mein noodles, and you can put it over that. I mean, you can just put it over whatever you want, but we're gonna put it over right rice here, okay? So I have this all mixed up. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you without spilling it. Um, it's not super thick and it's not super runny. Of course, after it cooks, it will be. A uh, little bit more runnier because of the water and the chicken. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there, just like that. And then I'm going to open this package, maybe. Uh oh. Well, it's very secure. I'll give them that. All right. And then you just pull this paper off like this. I see. Now this is 1.25 pounds. You don't, you don't have to use that much chicken. This is just what came in this package. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna put it in here and see if it all, all um, gets covered by the sauce. Because this is something that I eat as a leftover with no problem. Um, I, I'll just take it out and just eat it without even being on rice, it's so good. All right, so we got that in there. Let me just stir this up. Oh yeah, that's plenty of sauce to go with it. Okay, so now you know 1.25 pounds would be fine. Less would be fine. And then I chopped up, or I didn't chop up, I sliced up one carrot. You can add baby corn to this as well, if that's what you desire. I don't, I like just a little bit of carrot in my sauce. So, okay, let's take a look at this. Ah, here we go. There's what it looks like. See, the sauce is covering everything. I think once it cooks, it'll be fine, but I'm gonna set it for five hours on high, and then we'll be back. I will show you what it turned out like. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That is so orangey and so good. A little spicy. Remember, I added those, those half teaspoon of um, red pepper flakes. Really good. Yum, yum, yum.